Our top story this morning, the reunification of the two Koreas, the deployment of a U.S. missile defense shield in South Korea and the government's handling of April's ferry disaster were among the wide range of topics under the spotlight on Tuesday as the National Assembly began its annual audit of hundreds of government offices and agencies. Our Jim Young Gil reports. Twelve of 16 parliamentary standing committees got started with their audits of government offices this Tuesday. At center stage was the importance of promoting international cooperation to brace for a unification of the two Koreas. Rival party lawmakers urged neighboring countries like China and Japan to participate in various logistics projects with North Korea that will lay the groundwork for the two Koreas to become one again. Also up for discussion was the possible deployment of an American anti-missile defense shield in the South to deter ballistic missile threats from North Korea. The main opposition party raised concerns that stationing the terminal high altitude area defense could disrupt the strategic balance within Northeast Asia and prompt Pyongyang to expedite its nuclear weapons program. The Seoul Ferry tragedy was also back in the spotlight as lawmakers grilled government officials for the botched initial response and questioned whether dismantling the Korea Coast Guard was an appropriate follow-up measure. But the lack of preparation caused by the months-long political standoff over the ferry bill raised doubts about whether the audit will fulfill its purpose. The parliamentary audit should not be seen as political theater. Lawmakers should refrain from scolding and humiliating witnesses. We hope at this year's government audit, all agencies being inspected will submit all the requested information and data. We urge all the witnesses to give sincere answers. This year's audit was to be held in two separate sessions to analyze the agencies more thoroughly. But the plan was scrapped due to the gridlock over the Seoul Ferry Bill, raising concerns that the audit may be conducted in a haphazard manner. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.